G'day traders, Sam here from Trade to Prosper. Looking at optimism today, oh, I've been looking at it for a while. Um, I recall stating that if we lost this grind line, and uh, let's just highlight that, we we're saying that this grind line, and you can see this scenario, if we lose that, we're going to drop. And uh, yeah, that was a good drop. How much percentage? 20% or so, close enough. And so what does it mean? Well, it looks like, uh, if you look at it, actually, let's just get rid of one part of it, which is the extension. Don't need that. If you look at that, it, it seems like it's going to head back down to these levels, one of these two levels. So what we have, and let's just bring that out. We do this one here and we do this one here let's just get our lines out so our optimum volume is there and you can see how that wick took it out and we have that out of here as well there we've got that previous bottom so the key levels of importance and we can say roughly this was a key level of importance as well. So when we lost that, and you can see this formation, it's, it is a bearish structure in nature. And what will happen from this point, look at this, um, just another point. Every time you see a wick, you can see how ever so slightly it takes a wick out. So just liquidity, it's really looking for liquidity and the, yeah just slightly that was enough and then bang up now what we have is we've got levels of interest so this this is a key level previous on previous resistance and that was the neckline and it tried to hold above maybe we can bring this down a bit so include the wicks and you can see our price went plus uh, price pretty much capitulated it did a, a nice move to the upside but and we can say that we're in the range the golden ratio again taking out some liquidity from the, this previous level you can see that wick took it out and then price back down now we are in an interesting area so this is our pitchfork Let's just add, uh, see if there's any confluence. Not really, or not, that, not that level. Can we adjust this pitchfork? Probably, and probably do that as well. But we'll put it back there with the wick. And I think this line is important and this level is important. So we got this line that seems to be doing its job. And then we've got this level that seems to be our main resistance. So what price has done is we, we're down our five, five, what, five wave count, I suppose. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, ABC, is that it? Let's check that target. Let's see how much it's come down. Can we include the wick? That's the, that's the issue I have. And 786 if we include the wicks uh, close to 618 give or take a bit so I'll, I'll rather use yeah we've got to use that unfortunately but we don't have to use that there and we can see the 0 0.5 0 0.382 there we go so let's just clearly define that range the upper range and the bottom range that's pretty much it no trade there but we had a strong resistance previous resistance levels previous support and it goes all across when you when you think about it that that seems to be confluent with that level and it's an important level and that's likely to be resistance um, so we're on that 12 hour if it can break above all this then it becomes bullish so i think 
I'm not gonna. There's no trade here. That was a trade. Um, that bullish. This this section was bullish. Once it broke above that, that was the breakout trade we talked about in our group. And um, actually, I can bring that out. Give me a sec. Where are we? Here we we talked about the breakout. Oh, it doesn't do it. Okay, it does on our screen. Let's do it here. Here's the breakout. So we had this other direction channel, and that was a breakout move. So we went to the upside. I can bring that chart out. There's a few ways of looking at this. And where is it? It's optimism. There we go. So we break out. So we're looking for my pitchfork on this side. And it might be able to use that level as support. This level might. But I, I think it's likely to come. And if it could continue, then that's probably what it's going to do. So we're in a range. Can we get lower highs? That's what we're going to look for. And then look for a breakout. But at the moment, that, that's resistance. And if, the, if it was to break out, I would say that's where our next resistance is. And then I'll, I'll be looking to short, potentially. Um, one, two, three, four, five, that maybe, on a small time frame. But um, we have this pitchfork. And this, if it was to keep going, this will be a nice area to short. But that will be a nice bullish structure. And uh, that, that looks bullish in that sense. But um, it's a hard one. I would be looking if you want to break uh, trade this. That's a, that's a, obviously right there. It's taking out the liquidity, and and it, it can most likely come back down to this level here. We're in a range. Let's see if we can do that. I'll be looking for that. Why? Because that's a golden ratio, for sure. Yeah beautiful so we might just do that get another bounce so be patient wait for the pullback i did i did buy some here and uh, I'll, I'll probably look to enter here for some more so what I'm, my job is is uh for the portfolio is to accumulate more optimism so when the bull run starts i've got as much as optimism as i can for the uh, signed funds so that's what I'm looking at. Macro wise, optimism. Why is it doing? Let's look at this macro chart. Here we go. It's a hard one. It's on the bottom of this channel. So it needs to break this level. Uh, yeah, that's a hard. I think it can. The way it's structured, it, it can look like a reversal. Um, it's a positive structure, so can it break above? We'll find out. But um, that is a breakout trade potentially, like I said, if it can get above that level. So you can see I've got a few charts looking from different positions, and this is what we had: a big channel to the upside we broke down we now we've got this channel can it if if it doesn't hold it's likely to come down to this level here which is uh 85 cents or so and the pinnacle of this is there let's see that is our pinnacle based on the triangle type of thing so we might just get uh, a wyckoff structure so selling climax up thrust or automatic response back down to secondary test. I, th I think it might come down back here. And if it passes that test, then we're going back up. That's my thoughts for optimism.